like to lay low I've been people what you bring to the table Working hard, girl, everything paid for What's up YouTube, today it's your boy Rico and today I am back with another video and before I tell you what this video is going to be about, I just want y'all to look, look at where I am, I'm in my room, so today you guys are getting a view of my room, so let me be honest, my room is junky right now, junky, so when I got this video idea, I'm so, I like I'm so serious with trying to and the procrastination that I do that whenever I think of a video, I jump on it and I do it right then and there. I don't, oh, I'll save it for the next week. No, I'm off of work today, so let's do it right now. So, no, I didn't tidy up my space. I just literally swooped everything off my desk and threw the what I was going to be doing on the desk. So, let's get into this video. I'm very excited. <clears throat> So as you all know, I have been spoiling myself lately. So um, my last video was the Tour Pro Max unboxing. Go check it out. Link will be down below in the description. But today, today you guys, I'll let it speak for itself. Thumbnail. No, I don't like to smile. Let's do a serious one here. Okay, I'm doing that one. So today, guys, I'm going to be unboxing the Xbox One X. Wait, no, I'm sorry. The Xbox Series X, um, their newest console for $499. This is the one with the disk drive, which I really, really, really wanted a disk drive. So I had to make sure that I bought this one. No, I didn't want the Series S, the white slim console. I did like how it was really slim though, but no, I had to get the big boy. I had to get the um, big one because before, where are they? I don't know where they are right now. Oh, wait, yeah, I do. So before I even got a new console, because I had an Xbox One S previously, I had bought a whole bunch of disc games, games that come with discs. Some old titles, some new titles, so I wanted to make sure I could enjoy them on this one, since this one has a disc drive. But without getting too off topic, I'm going to be unboxing this today. I'm excited. Let me get everything out the way. This is my gaming laptop. I'm setting it up my new one. <sighs> Let's get ready. Let's get cracking. So this does have 4K, which I got a new 4K TV too, so I'm so excited because I know the graphics are going to be amazing. Oh, before I forget. So I was torn between the Xbox One Series, no, the Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5. So backstory, I had a PlayStation 3 um, a few years ago. My main game that I currently play right now is Grand Theft Auto Online. So... I wanted to get the PlayStation 5 because, you know, that's what everybody wanted. And Sony is pretty good. I like my PlayStation. I I kind of want to say I like the Xbox community more. Um, it's kind of like an Android and iPhone type of thing. I really like Xbox. So it, it was just for me. And it's nothing wrong with that. Um, pretty much the majority of my friends, they do have PlayStation. But nowadays, all of the games are doing, um, what is it called? Co-player? Um, it's that feature where you can play with different consoles. I forgot what it's called, but Fortnite has it. So you can play with other consoles that aren't your console. Instead of like Grand Theft Auto where you play with only Xboxes, with certain type of games, you can play with every console. So it doesn't matter what you have. So I'm just going to shut up and get to unboxing. But while I unbox, I'm going to talk about some games that I really want to get for this. So the first game that I want to get for this, and guys, let me know if you've played any, played any of the games that I'm mentioning, and let me know some games that I should check out, and also let me know if you guys want me to drop my gamer tag below. So one game that I plan on buying for this, which I haven't bought any yet, because like I said, I have plenty of games from the Xbox One S that I'm going to be playing on this. 
I would like to purchase the Black Ops Cold War. No, Black Ops. Call of Duty Cold War. That was a mistake. Um, the reason I want to purchase that is because it's been a long time since I've played a Call of Duty game. And literally, like when I'm at work, I have to get out like 50 copies a day of that game. So I could tell it's popular, so the online play should be amazing. Well, how much tape is on it? Oh my goodness, hell. But yeah, I wanna get Call of Duty, um, Call of Duty. Cold. And then another game that I really, really, really want to get is, um, it's a game, it's like $20, it's a new game, John Wick, it's basically based off of the movie, which I love the movie, so I could only imagine, imagine playing the game. Oh, there's two at the bottom, but yeah, so that's one of the second games that I really want to get, and I guess another one would be whenever they come out with Grand Theft Auto 6. Which I'm pretty sure with Grand Theft Auto 6, we won't be able to transfer our progress from Grand Theft Auto 5, since it technically is a new version of the game. So I could see the reason for them making us all start over, because I would bet there's gonna be a ton of new additions. But yeah, like I was saying, everybody was coming in for PS5s. Which Xbox is worth selling. Let me just put that out there. The Xboxes were always sold out too. But we never had a line for the Xboxes. But we always had a line. And we still, to this day, since what these consoles are what, not even a month old, we still do have a, it might be a month, but we still do have the Xboxes. Which were, no, I'm sorry. We're sold out of Xboxes. But we never have a line for these. There's never a long line of people asking for Xbox. There is a very long line for PlayStation always. So, can you guys see that? I kind of like this setup right here. I'm digging it. So, first off, it comes in like a really, really nice display case. Bang. Okay. It comes with styrofoam. So, I don't have to worry or the fears of it being dropped. It says power your dreams. I am such an Xbox fan, like literally. Honestly, I could see myself owning both systems, but the friends that I have that have PlayStation, they don't even really play Grand Theft Auto. So honestly, I literally make friends on Xbox Live, basically. And those are the people that I play with. Cause my brother, he has PS5. My cousin, she has PS5. My friend has PS5. And then a few of my co-workers that are friends, like I've literally talked them into Xbox because it's so hard for them to get a PlayStation also. And then I'm so excited because this is a 4K and I have a 4K TV. So I wanna see how it's gonna be. So Xbox, they send you like a nifty little card with instructions on how to set up your remote, how to pair your remote. It tells you the back of the console. One thing that I love, I really, really love that they did is that they made it where whenever you want to expand the storage, even though this is already a whopping one terabyte, if you ever want to expand the storage, they give you like a little SD where you purchase an SD card versus those, I can't find that either, but versus those big hard drives, now we just have a little chip. But I am curious, if you guys know this answer, let me know. So with my old Xbox One S, I had a one terabyte hard drive. I wanna know if it'll still work on this, which I'm pretty sure it will since the old remotes still work for this versus PlayStation, you have to buy all new remotes, which is dumb. Well, I guess it's, it's not dumb, but it was a smart move for Xbox to keep the same remotes. Xbox cares about your wallet. I like the black. I'm 
didn't. It doesn't feel any different. It feels just like the last generation of mode. Except it is like a bit more grippier. And then I was, I read that this remote has like the, um, more vibrations in it now. So it'll match up with the game, but what's going on in the game. One thing that I am a little shocked to see is that it comes with AA batteries instead of the battery pack. But hey, you can always just buy a battery pack. And then another thing I'm surprised to see is that they're USB-C now. Sweet. Okay, I'm not gonna put this in here right now because I'm not playing it this yet. So let me put this back in here. So that's pretty much it for this video guys i just wanted to do a very quick unboxing of my new xbox one i mean xbox series x so guys that'll be all if you like this video oh wait what was i thinking i haven't even opened it i never unwrapped it what was i thinking system it looks like a speaker honestly i don't know why people are calling this a mini refrigerator like this sweet i love how it's like matte i remember my xbox one the first xbox one that came out how it had that glossy top and it was scratched terribly It smells good. And then I really like the holes at the top of the design where the fan is. So you can tell this bad boy has excellent ventilation. So YouTube, that was my Xbox Series X unboxing video. Um, comment down below and let me know what games do you um, guys play and what do you think I should pick up. Um, let me know if you want my gamer tag or just drop your gamer tags in the description and I'll make sure to add you guys and let me know what games you play before I add you just so I can make sure we play some of the same games. Um, also, let me know, did you guys pick up a new Xbox? Are you still rocking your last generation Xbox? If you did pick up a new Xbox, please let me know. Did you get the Xbox Series S or the Xbox Series X? That'll be all for this video. You guys have a blessed day. Happy holidays and please stay safe. See you in the next one.